Hey guys, um, my name is StuffD1346, and it's one of my favorite days, and, um, I have two new lures for you guys, and I'm pretty excited about these, um, because they're really, really good lures. I'm really happy. First one I'm going to discuss is this live target bluegill. And it is not the one that is like waxed. There's one in West Marine that was like it was like waxed instead of you know just dry like this. It had like wax film on it, and it looked too shiny to use. So I decided to pick the more dry bluegill, and that's typically the bluegill that live around my part, you know. And some of you may use the you know glossy the other glossy bluegill but um visit the website for these oh wow this one's heavy but I uh, visit the website for these it's called www.livetargetlures.com and they have frogs to lizards to anything they also have a saltwater collection they do okay so you got the awesome live target name on the top yeah buddy Okay, and then you have awesome features. So this is a bluegill because you know you have bluegill, bluegills, you know that little spot right there. Then you have the stripes, the yellow fins, and on the bottom they have these things that have like points at the bottom, like spikes. Those come up when they're, you know, being hunted. And then they have these spikes which come up. They don't come up on the lure, of course, like on real fish. They come up and spike up. But this is good because. When this is, you know, being dragged in the water, fish are going to think it's not expecting something to bite it. Because it's, you know, arch is not raised, like spiked. So they're going to, right on that. They come up from behind, um, like that, and then they come up and eat it like that. And that's when you just go, right there. So, awesome lure right here. I think this one went for like nine bucks or something at West Marine. And you could probably get them cheaper off like eBay or something. I don't know. Just, no, probably bzid.com or something. Uh, anyway. So it's, by, it's made by coppers. And yeah. And my next lure. My next lure. I personally really like Rapala uh, because they have so many varieties to choose from. And today I, I'm using the X Wrap. And it's a pretty big lure, but you know, you're going to catch some pretty nice fish on these. Big lure, big fish. Big bait, big fish. That's the theory. So nice black top, red mouth. And it has a pretty decent sized bib. You know, so I think this one this one might get to three to five feet underwater because of this bib. I know this type of bib. And typically because it's kinda curved a little and it's kinda going that way. So I say three to five feet. I don't know. Typically they have them posted somewhere. I just don't know. Oh yeah, here we go. Swimming depth three to five feet. I was right. Yeah, these bibs are really good. Anyway, it has really nice detail on the scales here. It has fly feathers on the back. And just a really nice pattern on it. I really like it. It's about a little more than a middle finger long without the hooks. Um, the bluegill, by chance, is about as long as my finger. Let me check real quick. Yeah, I'd say a little less, about up to my nail, like on the bottom of my nail, to my knuckle. Right here, to up there. Up there. Okay. And then this one I really like. Um, you know, really nice body structure. And I actually made, I actually made a homemade lure. It, it is like nail clippers. And I took off the back and it. It has a really nice fish structure, uh, fish, fish structure, and it looks like fish. I haven't tested it yet, 
but I'm going to test it sometime soon after I test these. So, yeah, that's my new fishing lures. And I really hope that you like this video. Write, comment, subscribe. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I know. Well, yeah, that's pretty much. That's pretty much it. But visit Rapala. I, I heard this one. Just, just look up, like, Rapala.com or... BassProShops.com, and then just look up like Rapala, and you'll find a variety of these. Then go to LiveTargetLures.com to find the bluegill, and you'll be set for fishing. I swear. So what I'm gonna do actually is I'm going to take both my fishing poles because I have two. Take off any lures that are tied to it, and then put two of these on. Then I'm gonna take turns fishing with them. Okay, and I think I'm gonna start off with the Rapala X Wrap because, you know, I haven't really fished with those, and I just want to give it a shot, you know, try something new, and I've heard really awesome reviews on the Rapala x wrap so let's go catch something, I guess, alright, peace.